My funny guy is a snappy dresser. Look at this guy right here, Mr. DeSander Ma. Let him in. Hi, everybody. My name is Sandra Moss. I'm a Puerto Rican Irish Mennonite. I'm a Vietnam vet. And I'm a senior citizen. You know, when you're in high school or college, being a senior is pretty cool. After that, it completely sucks. I was uh, on a crowded subway the other day, and I was standing up, and in front of me was a very attractive 30-something. So I smile at her, she smiles at me. I'm thinking, hey, I still got it. <laughs> and then she says, uh, oh, uh, sir, do, do you need to sit down? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I'll admit, I get offended when a young woman offers me her seat. I always look around to see if maybe she's talking to uh, you know, a pregnant woman or some old guy. <laughs> but, you know, what happens is that uh, I get this. So, speaking of old, you know there's a whole lot of uh, senior living communities out there. Do you believe that some of them require you to be 65 to move in? It's hard to believe. 65. What is what? 50 year olds ruin the bingo game? <laughs> or a whole bunch of 22 year old supermodels? Will they move in and take over the pool and give the old guys a heart attack? <laughs> to be fair, though, these senior communities uh, they do serve a purpose for seniors at every level. You know, there's senior living, there's assisted living, there's hardly living, <laughs> and then give it up for it. You know, one of the downsides for some seniors is ending up in a wheelchair. But you know, guys, they compensate for that. Just like uh, when they get a car, they talk about it. Well, what seniors do, this, some of these guys, they do the same thing with their wheelchairs. Hey, George, I just got a three year lease on an 18 inch ultralight mod transport. <laughs> Much better than my old XL Deluxe. <laughs> Fully loaded. <laughs> Air freshener. <laughs> Stool softener. <laughs> iPhone charger. And it's motorized. It goes from zero to five in less than two minutes. <laughs> hey, what are you driving? You know, speaking of uh, wheelchairs, I was recently at the airport and uh, trying to catch a flight to Florida. And the line of seniors in wheelchairs was so long that it took an extra 20 minutes to board. And I tell you, that's really, a, really annoying. I've got long legs and those wheelchairs are really uncomfortable. <laughs> I like to watch uh, CNN, uh, Daycare for Seniors. <laughs> What's really annoying about them is that uh, they have an awful lot of drug advertisements. I mean, they, really, they push more drugs than a cartel. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, seniors love to talk about their drugs. Hey, I, got, uh, I take Lipitor for my heart, I, I take a lead for my joints. And I take Prozac so I don't shoot myself. <laughs> However, drugs, the legal kind, is really big business in the United States. $446 billion in 2016 alone. Now think about that. That's a lot of points. I mean, suppose Big Pharma gave you points, just like your credit card company, right? They could call it the Forever Club. <laughs> for a million points, you get a heart bypass. <laughs> you know, for two million, they kick in intensive care. <laughs> hey, and if it doesn't work out, for five million, then you get your funeral covered as well. <laughs> you know, it's not all downhill, though, when you're a senior. We do get benefits. For example, on the subway. You know, they have priority seating. So the other day, during rush hour, I raced a teenager to a priority seat. Well, unfortunately, he beat me. 
But I stood in front of him and farted. <laughs> Let's talk about something that makes uh, all of you really uncomfortable. And that's <laughs> seniors and sex. <laughs> hey, it happens. <laughs> us old guys know that 20 somethings really lost out for us. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Ask Hugh Hefner. <laughs> well, you, I guess you can't. He's dead. <laughs> but 86, and what, he had a 26 year old bride. Hey, and what about that youngster, Mick Jagger? Huh? You know, in July he's going to be 75. At the same time, his new son will be one year old. And his son gets to play with his three year old great granddaughter. Hey, I think Mick Jagger is getting plenty of satisfaction. <laughs> you know, one of the things that senior citizens are supposed to do is that we're supposed to have bucket lists. Ten things that we want to do before we die. Well, my father-in-law, uh, he doesn't have a bucket list. He's got a bucket list. A <laughs> hundred women he wants to do before he dies. <laughs> That's a really active guy. He loves going to strip clubs. <laughs> In fact, he likes to go there so much that for his 89th birthday, what we did is we got him his own private room. Well, unfortunately, uh, during the lap dance, his hips are broken. <laughs> However, he's fine. Uh, the doctor said he's restricted now to pole dancing. <laughs> now, one thing about uh, seniors is that there are plenty of dating sites. There's the one for the over 70. You know, you have to post your picture, your disability insurance. <laughs> but they do offer some great deals. For, and you can get a really good deal on those new exciting catheters that are coming out. <laughs> and then for the over 80 crowd, well, that's for short-term relationships. <laughs> and by the way, they're also talking about something for the hospice residents called terminal affairs. <laughs> Oxygen included. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you all for my friend, the Senator Mullins, right there in the mirror.